Hello everybody and welcome to the October 2020 Gaming PC Builds of the Month brought to you by NoobComputerBuild.com. A couple things before we get into it. This is a strange little month. We've had some um, very uh, amazing kind of graphics card releases from NVIDIA uh, with their new RTX series here, uh, their 30 series. Uh, with these three RTX cards that you see here, the 3090, 3080, and then 3070 is coming here soon. Um, so the 3090 and 80 came out in September. Um, at uh, $1,499, $1,499, and $699, respectively, and they perform amazingly. But even though they're released, you can't really get your hands, uh, get your hands on them because they're sold out everywhere. Um, and if you go to the NVIDIA website, such as the one here, you can see all the buying options right now. However, you won't be able to quite purchase. You'll be able to be notified when they come out. It'll say check availability, uh, and you might be able to get one. Let's see here, new egg. See if uh, we can get one here. Um, yeah, see, we're on a notify list here at 729.99. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, if these cards, so the 3090 doesn't really uh, isn't really applicable to the builds that we're going to talk about today, and the 3080 would be in terms of an upgrade, uh, in terms of, and in terms of its cost, um, and these uh, will play really well into the higher resolutions if you're kind of pointing in that direction, but. Uh, the 3070 coming out this month at 499 uh, will replace our RTX 2070 so easily in terms of performance and even it's quoted at being a little lower in actual cost uh, even though it won't quite be at that cost when it's released uh, it's something to keep in mind so with that in mind uh, you're, you're not going to be able to get your hands on one of those this month most likely uh, so if you wanted to build right away uh, there are some good factors uh, the cards in the, in the builds uh, this month have gone down in price because of the new releases. So you're gonna save at least $20 on a graphics card as they're going down. And as the month goes on, those prices are gonna fall even further. So uh, their performances haven't gone down, but the prices are going down. So that's something good. Or likewise, if you wanna wait for the cards, but kind of get your hardware ahead of time, um, Prime Day is this month, uh, which you might be able to get your hands on some uh, computer hardware at, uh, at a discounted prices. So your storage and your CPU and your the rest of the components in your build um, at a discounted price while you wait for those cards. Uh, also to mention at the end of the month, AMD Big Navi is going to come out, uh, or not come out, but the, the, their graphics cards are going to be announced on uh, October 28th, so um, in the months to come. So if you're wanting to build right away, you might have to wait a while if you want the top, top end car, uh, graphics cards, but without, uh, with that being said, uh, these builds are still very viable and have been for a very long time. Uh, so let's start with the $1,500 gaming PC build of the month, followed by the $1,000, $700, and $500 gaming PC builds. Um, for the October the 2020 uh, $1,500 build, the CPU we have is the Ryzen 7 3700X, and this comes in at currently $294.99. And first I want to mention as well, this build is for those that really want to max out high uh, uh, FPS at 1080p without a hiccup, and then uh, even at 1440p, and even play good, good uh, gameplay at 4K. Like I said, if you really want to play at 4K, uh, you might have to wait for those uh, RTX series uh, cards to come out. Um, okay, moving on, the cooler. Uh, we have the included AMD Wraith Prism cooler, uh, which is good unless you go extreme overclocking. In that case, you can get another cooler if you like. That's optional. Motherboard we have is the ASUS AM AM4 uh, Tough Gaming X570 Plus with Wi-Fi enabled at 188.35. The graphics card, the MSI Gaming GeForce RTX 2070 Super Graphics card at five nineteen ninety nine, and then um, the RAM we have is the Crucial Ballistics uh, thirty six hundred megahertz kit of uh, sixteen gigabyte kit of uh, DDR four memory. It has two eight gigabyte sticks at seventy two thirty four. Storage we have is Western Di Digital Black one terabyte NVMe SSD one forty nine ninety nine. Uh, power supply is a Thermal Take Tough Power GF one seven hundred fifty watt um, at one hundred nine ninety nine, which is a really good price for this one right now. By the way. Uh, and then optionally, if you really want a highly efficient uh, power supply, which hasn't been in stock for a while, but the EVGA Supernova 750P2, platinum rated, fully modular, uh, 750 watt power supply. Uh, the case we uh, recommend this month is the uh, NZXT uh, H5, H510i uh, mid-tower case. This has been uh, one of my favorites for a while. Uh, I really like the aesthetics of this case. Uh, it comes in at uh, a sweet $99.99. And in total, this build will come in under $1,500 bill, uh, $1,500 at $1,436. So there's room for upgrades if you need it, or just uh, spend less than $1,500 on the $1,500 gaming PC build of the month. 
Moving on, we have the $1,000 gaming PC build of the month. Uh, this is for those that want to, again, max out 1080p resolutions at high FPS and even play into 2K at the higher settings without a problem. Uh, you'll have uh, the CPU is AMD Ryzen 5 3600X at 244.99. The cooler is the Respire cooler included. Uh, motherboard we have is the ASRock B550 Pro 4 at 134.99. Uh, graphics card Asus Tough Gaming 3 Radeon RX 5700 XT, uh, a phenomenal graphics card for 1080p and uh, um, and uh, well into that 2K resolution without a problem. Uh, this is going to be a great card for a bit at $414.99. Uh, I just want to also mention before we go further, uh, the cards that were released last, last month uh, or that, that are being released, the RX, uh, such as the RTX 3070, uh, will m probably mainly apply to the higher end build so if you're in the higher end bracket uh, that's where you'll be concerned about those uh, once we get into this mid-range kind of stuff um, these cards are still very viable as there's nothing to replace them yet but uh, just wanted to mention that uh, the memory we have is a crucial ballistics 3600 DDD ddr4 uh, kit at uh, 7234 uh, the storage is the crucial p1 500 gigabyte nvme ssd at 59.99 we have a 650 watt e, uh, EVGA N1 power supply at 69.99, and then the case we have is the Corsair Carbide Series 175R RGB 59.99. This is a great little case, a uh, great little budget case that has everything you need and has a slick side panel and uh, comes with a 120 millimeter RGB fan built in. Uh, so it's quite a bit for uh, the amount uh, you spend on this case. But anyways, this build comes in at $1,057. Now, the $700 gaming PC build. Those that really want to focus on 1080p gaming at the higher settings there, uh, we have the CPU is the Ryzen 5 3600, included Wraith Stealth Cooler, uh, motherboard ASRock B550M HDV. This is a micro ATX uh, motherboard, so a smaller form factor at $80.99. Uh, graphics card, GeForce GTX 1660 Super, $239.99. Uh, if you want and you can afford it for a little bit more, you can get the RX 5600 XT. Uh, that's only if you have a little more to spend and want to bump that $700 build up a bit. Um, the memory we have is the Patriot Signature Premium DDR4 8 gigabyte kit uh, at $35.99. Storage Crucial P1 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD $59.99. Power supply Thermaltake Smart 500 watt $47.99. And then the case is a micro ATX. One of my uh, favorite budget micro micro ATX cases for quite a while uh, cooler master master box q300 l 44.99 this comes into just above 700 at 714 dollars uh, next we have is the 500 dollars gaming pc build this is that console killer build and i digress i say this right before the launch of some new consoles with the playstation 5 and the new xbox however this is that console killer for 500 dollars you'll be able to uh easily <laughs> hit over that 30 fps at 1080p uh, at higher settings in games. So, um, getting started, the CPU we have is the Ryzen 5 2600 uh, processor, included cooler. Uh, motherboard we have, uh, we have here is the Asus Prime B450M uh, micro ATX case, um, a case uh, motherboard at $77.99. Mother and then the graphics card we have is the GeForce GTX 1650, uh, $169.99. The image isn't loading here for some reason. Uh, the memory we have is the Patriot Signature uh, DDR4 8GB kit at $35.99. Uh, there we go. And then uh, the uh, storage we have is this uh, SATA SSD, this PNY CS900 240GB SSD, $26.99 cheap. So if you want to bump that up to an NVM uh, E drive for not much more, you can do that with the ones that were mentioned above. Uh, power supply unit, Thermaltake Smart 500 watt. $47.99 and the same micro ATX case here, the Cooler Master Masterbox Q300L, $44.99. That does it for all of uh, the builds for this month. Um, they're kind of inclusive of most gamers' needs, anywhere from those uh, 1080p all the way up into the 4K resolution uh, range. And if you have more money to, to spend, you can then do it on the upgrades, which are included in this article. If you go to this article, we uh, split them up. Um, you can visit the individual build pages and we have uh, build alternatives and uh, other hardware recommended if you have more to spend or want upgrades for the future. Uh, the other things you'll need for these builds to keep in mind are your peripherals, uh, mouse, keyboard, uh, operating system, monitor, those sorts of things. So more of that, that on the website as well. Uh, and uh, keep in mind you'll need uh, Windows. So you can download that to a USB key if you like uh, for, not, for free if you want. Um, otherwise you need to pay. 
uh, to get rid of, uh, to actually activate it. But uh, yeah, until next month, good luck building and keep an eye out for uh, some of those releases. Take care.